Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today I'd like to show you a simple French recipe that I hope you enjoy. It's for poulet au vinaigre, or chicken with vinegar and garlic sauce. This recipe comes from Jacques Pepin. He's a French chef originally from Lyon and has worked in the U.S. for many years teaching people about cooking and French cuisine. One of the things I love about Jacques Pepin is that he reminds me that great cooking doesn't have to be complicated to be good. And this recipe for chicken with vinegar and garlic sauce is a great example. Just start with quality ingredients, use a skillful approach, and there's a good chance that magic will follow. So we are going to pan fry this chicken and make a delicious uh, pan sauce from all of the flavor that remains in the pan at the end. Right, and just a note about cost. I'm using um, uh, chicken thighs for this recipe. You could use chicken breasts, but I think chicken thighs are a great value. Uh, chicken thighs with the bone in, which is what we're gonna use, is two pounds 10 the kilo. And uh, chicken breast fillets, obviously with the bone out, are 5.85 the kilo. So thighs come in at less than half the price. Right, let's prepare the thighs. There's not much to do here. We're keeping the skin on uh, the thighs. Um, you'll see why in a minute. We're gonna uh, just loosen the bone, if you will, from the underside of the thigh, and this will help the meat to cook more efficiently. And to do that, we're just gonna score with a, with a paring knife to separate the chicken from the bone and then follow the contour of the bone and just continue cutting through to separate the bone from the meat. And you want to do that without cutting all the way through the meat. You don't want to uh, cut into the skin on the other side. Okay, done. We'll just season these with a bit of salt and pepper on both sides. Um, I'm gonna start these off in a cold pan, skin side down. Once they go into the pan, they'll stay that way. You won't turn them over during the cooking. And this way the skin will get, uh, will get a lovely golden crust on it. So I'm gonna put these onto a high heat. And while the thighs are cooking, let's use the time to uh, do the little bit of prep that's required here. So, so we're gonna mince up the garlic. So this recipe calls for uh, three cloves and I'm just gonna trim off a little bit of stem end on the cloves to make chopping easier. And then give these a whack with the knife. And the paper comes off pretty easy. And these start to get a bit gluey, gooey. So I like to add a bit of salt to them before chopping. And this causes them to sweat a bit and not stick to the knife. All right. And then I'm just gonna continue just mashing with the flat of the knife. To break it down.
Okay, done. Let's check on the chicken. So that's been about five minutes at high heat and you can probably see that this has rendered some of the fat from the skin. It's sizzling up really nicely and um, it's ready now for a slower cook. So I'm going to reduce the heat uh, to low and then cover with a tight fitting lid and we'll let this cook uh, for about another 20 25 minutes. Just a note while the chicken is cooking away, we're going to finish off with a quick pan sauce. And this is a really great technique where you take the pan that you've been cooking with, you remove the meat or the fish or the chicken, and you deglaze with a liquid. And deglaze simply means dissolving what's left in the pan with the liquid and often that means using wine or you could use water in this case we're using vinegar to deglaze the pan then we'll reduce the sauce down quickly and then spoon that over the chicken thighs that have just been cooked that are still warm and we're ready for service so that's been gently cooking away at a low heat for about 20 25 minutes um, let's take a look and see how it's doing Right, so this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna just cut in a bit to the thigh and see if it's been cooked properly. Yep, there's no pink remaining. It's cooked through. So what's been happening over the last 20, 25 minutes is at a very low heat, there's plenty of moisture in the, in the chicken itself. So it essentially steam cooks slowly during that time. We turn it over here we can see that the skin has a really nice coloring a really nice browning going on from when we started the initial cooking on high heat which rendered the fat from the skin and gave us a nice brown crispy uh, crust okay there's lots of lovely uh, juice and um, browning in the pan which is going to be the basis of our quick sauce Let's get these on a plate. Right, so we'll turn the heat up a little bit here. Get the fat really hot and we're going to Add the garlic from earlier and then give that about 30 seconds just to cook through a bit. Then we'll add the three tablespoons of vinegar. And stir this really well to dissolve any of the caramelization at the bottom of the pan. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And I can smell a lot of vinegar um, wafting up, which is good because it will reduce the acidity in the sauce. Right, so we'll reduce that just until it almost stops bubbling and it's kind of a syrupy consistency. Okay, that's been about a minute and we're almost done. We're gonna put a tablespoon of ketchup, which will add some flavor and also thicken the sauce. Some Tabasco sauce, if you like. And I'm going to add some green and Kalamata olives to this. It's optional. You don't have to. Right, and I'll just taste this before putting it on the chicken. Mm. Oh, wow. Super good. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. 
If your sauce is looking a little bit dry at this point, feel free to add a couple tablespoons of hot water uh, to fill it out a little bit. There's plenty of flavor in the sauce, so it's not going to dilute it. And this looks great. And to serve, just spoon the sauce over the chicken thighs. And I'm going to garnish with some fresh chopped chives. It looks great. So poulet au vinaigre or chicken with vinegar and garlic sauce. Enjoy.